This patient came uh, with the diagnosis of atrial fibrillation, which is an abnormal heart rhythm. And in order to treat his rhythm problem or arrhythmia, we have to do some tests. Some of these tests include cardiac ultrasonography, the use of cardiac sonography to identify abnormalities. In this patient, the possibility of blood clots was real because the condition called atrial fibrillation does increase your risk of developing the formation of blood clots in the heart. There are certain areas in the heart where blood clots can actually hide and these uh, areas are not necessarily accessible to the regular uh, echocardiogram that we do from the surface of the chest. So with the transesophageal echocardiogram, you have a very accurate test to rule out the presence of these abnormal structures. What we're doing today is trying to see if there's any blood clots in your heart so that we can then proceed with an electrical cardioversion and jumpstart your heart back from, from a rhythm disorder called atrial fibrillation back to normal rhythm. The transesophageal probe is basically a sonographic uh, transducer that is mounted on a flexible tubing similar to um, what the gastroenterologists do when they do upper endoscopies. We're going to be inserting this through the mouth and into the esophagus and stomach to take pictures of the heart from different angles. Right away, looking at the first view, the left atrium, we're looking for blood clots in there and we can actually adjust things so that it can be magnified. Don't see any blood clots at this point, and this this is good. Let's put color flow over the atrial septum, and we're doing that to see if there's any congenital abnormalities, like a hole in a membrane. Um, my first impression so far, at least on this view, initial view, is that there's no clots, which is precisely what we're looking for so that we can then proceed to the next procedure that we have planned for for the patient today. An important thing to see in some patients, and in fact this is one of the nice advantages of transesophageal echo in the case of an aortic disease that is emergent or serious, and we can do this at the bedside in the intensive care unit without having to move the patient anywhere to a CAT scan or an MRI. So this is, uh, this is a very important test for that population of patients who are unstable. Uh, with this test, uh, precisely uh, rule out any presence of blood clots in the heart. And we went ahead and move on to the second part, which was the electrical shock per se, the electrical cardioversion, which uh, was successful in this particular patient. Mm -hmm.